I'm Giulia and in each episode of this playlist I will present an Italian region and its main attractions. This video is dedicated to Venice and Veneto region. Veneto is a region in the northeastern part of Italy, probably known by all of you as its main city is Venice. It is the most visited region in Italy with 69 million tourists each year. Venice is of course an important magnet for the entire area, but the whole region is stunning. It has eight UNESCO heritage sites and is a perfect place to go if you're looking for a mix of nature, art, history, wine and outdoors. Venice. Once in Veneto, you definitely cannot miss Venice. Yes, you may hate the crowds of tourists, you may hate the long queues, but you will put up with it because this is a unique place. Where else can you find an entire city built on waters with natural and artificial islands? The must-see attractions in Venice are St. Mark's Basilica, Doge's Palace and the islands of Murano, Burano and Torcello. If you would like to see what Venice would be like without the masses of tourists, you can visit its miniature version, Chioggia. It's just a village, but it's built in the exact same way. Verona, an utterly romantic city where all Shakespeare lovers stop by. Here it's where Romeo and Juliet was set. You can visit the Capulet's balcony and attend a concert in the 2000 years old Roman amphitheater, Verona Arena. Dolomiti Bellunesi National Park. The Dolomites are a mountain chain belonging to different North Italian regions, but the vast majority of it is in Veneto. They are famous for the characteristic pink color they have during summer sunsets. Cortina d'Ampezzo. If you'd like to ski in the Dolomites, this is the place to go. Cortina d'Ampezzo is a well-known luxury ski destination. Indeed, it's called the Queen of the Dolomites. Padua, a gorgeous artistic city where you can visit the most ancient botanical garden in the world, founded in 1545 and today a UNESCO heritage site, and the Scrovegni Chapel, a middle-aged masterpiece made by Giotto. Valdobbiadene Hills, 181 square kilometers of grapevine slopes and traditional towns dedicated to the production of Prosecco, a sparkling wine that Italians drink instead of champagne. Lake Garda. Garda is the largest lake in Italy and the eastern side belongs to Veneto region. It's an excellent destination if you enjoy the peaceful atmosphere of small villages on the lake. Amusement parks. Veneto is a fantastic holiday destination also if you're traveling with kids. This area is full of great amusement parks, among them Gardaland is the most famous where you can find many carousels for children and scary roller coasters for adults. Vicenza Inside and around Vicenza, one of the greatest architects of all the times, Andrea Palladio, left his heritage. The Palladian villas are extraordinary buildings designed by Palladio for the Republic of Venice during the 16th century. Yesolo. If it's nightlife and seaside will interest you, this coastal little city has 15 kilometers of sandy beach. During the summer, Yesolo is full of concerts, disco clubs and beach parties. Veneto cuisine is rich in dishes with rice and lagoon fish. But I mostly thank this region for the invention of tiramisu, the notorious coffee-flavored Italian dessert. A must-try food here is whipped codfish, cooked in countless recipes. Veneto is a region for any season. You can ski during winter or you can go to the sea during summer, so it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're planning to stop in Venice, you might want to avoid cruise season from April until October, which brings hordes of one-day tourists in the city. Venice is super famous for its carnival that takes place every February. People dress up with costumes from the Republic of Venice. Another major event in Venice is the Cinema Festival, in which a high number of famous actors populate the lagoon during the month of September. Verona instead hosts a very important lyric festival every summer, where some of the most famous dramas are reenacted in the arena. If what you're looking for is a low-budget holiday, keep in mind that Veneto might not be the right destination for you. Venice can be quite expensive and also Veneto region usually has high prices. Veneto inhabitants are famous for their drinking habits. Indeed, one of their favorite rhyme proverbs translates like this. Whoever invented wine 
If he's not in paradise, he's nearby for sure. Italians even say that people always seem drunk when speaking Veneto dialect because of its particular accent and rhythm. If you would like to know more about Veneto, we will leave you some useful links in the description below. Subscribe to our channel for our next episodes of Where to Go in Italy. Thank <laughs> you.